the throw to di expression allows to literally throw a layer such that is it flies through the air and bounces off the ground and we want to animate in this case here this throw to d text and we have here another layer called bottom and exactly at this bottom we want it to bounce yeah so the first thing we do is we move it at the height at which it should bounce this is in this case here 619 point something so i copy this position and paste it here at ground height yeah it says this is the height at which the element should bounce and then i move it from which it should start and simply apply this i expression apply and what now happens is you see it falls down and bounces and stays like this yeah very nice and um the next thing we can control here is the elastic bounce and this elastic bouncing if i set it to 100 percent and reapply it here maybe i enable here auto apply such that any changes i do here are automatically reapplied here if you now preview it you can see it bounces forever yeah without losing any energy so to speak or without getting less height and if i set it in contrast to this to just zero and preview now can see it falls down and doesn't bounce at all so if you have something that should feel very heavy just choose here something small yeah and now you have a very subtle little bounce at the end do it like this it's already a bit more visible yeah and if it should be very light and elastic choose something higher Okay, so now um, this is a simple thing we can do to just let uh, things fall down. But in addition, we can also really throw them. So this means we can start animating here some move and then this move will be automatically continued. So let's say we want to start from this position here and I just set here a keyframe. And oops, uh, now I, so I start from this position and now I move, let's say two frames further or so and move it then to here yeah so this means we have here our keyframe movement and now after the last keyframe the eye expression continues and you can see here it now uh, computes yeah this throw here and again note that currently it's not bouncing at all because we have here this elastic bounce set to zero and if we set this back to something like 50 or so we have here again such a nice bouncy behavior Okay, I also want to look at a bit more detail at uh, these advanced parameters here. So the gravity here should more or less stay like this usually. Yeah, if you want to feel have more of feel like being on the moon or so, so where everything falls down much slower, you can change this gravity parameter. But uh, what was usually from these uh, aspects here only interesting is the friction on the ground. And this is, you can see here, uh, the element... Um, at some point starts sliding on the ground yeah so from here on basically it is not flying through the air anymore but uh bouncing on the ground and just let me make this move here a bit slower like this that it starts sliding earlier yeah, so from here on it it slides and this sliding can be controlled with the friction on the ground so if we make this higher let's say 30 you see it moves back yeah, and this means it doesn't slide that much anymore. Yeah, so during the sliding phase, it gets uh, slower, faster. And the higher we do this, you see the more it travels back. And if we do it very high, like 100, you can see as soon as it stops bouncing, it basically doesn't move anymore. Yeah, it's like it's a high friction on the ground. So with this, you can fine-tune your movement. There is also another way of fine-tuning your movement. And this is, let's say, you want to uh, have a throwing like this but you want it to be like 20 pixels more to the right yeah then you could um, move this keyframe and this keyframe both 20 pixels to the right and all the remaining movement of course would follow and this is very convenient to do with key tweak yeah because with key tweak you can choose here work area constant oh sorry this is currently the german interface so let's just switch it to the English version which requires to restart the script so window 
key tweak like this, yeah. So I choose here work area constant, which means move all keyframes in the work area, and these are contained in the work area, yeah. And so now I can really move these keyframes and also here the final position. And this is very nice because I can preview basically the final ending position while moving these positions here. This is quite convenient if you need it to land at a very specific place. Um, so very convenient to adjust in this way. Okay. Um, Oh, here, this is what I, what I wanted. Uh, this is uh, throw to D. Another thing that you can also say is that simulation start should not start at the last keyframe. Uh, currently, it's like this. We have here some movement, and then after this, it automatically starts. Yeah, um, and you can instead also say here uh, you can start your simulation at a certain keyframe or a certain frame number. But this is, I think, rarely necessary only if you have more keyframes here behind it, but actually want to start the simulation already here uh, and ignore all the remaining keyframes and you do not have to delete them, but you still can uh, just say here, I want to start at this or that place with the simulation. <coughs>